What's good, YouTube? This is Rage Rail. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys this gun type mini scheme in Madden 23. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications. On. So, I am doing this uh, gun type mini scheme, and honestly, I really love this formation. So, the playbook that I'm in is the Commanders playbook. Again, I'm in the Washington Commanders offensive playbook now gun tight is in a whole bunch of different playbooks but i'm choosing this one in particular just because i like the play variations that they have and i like the run plays that they have in this one so um they have halfback base in this one and they also have read option which i really love the read option it's a really great run play you get the inside zone with read option and you also have your uh halfback base so you have two solid run plays now i'm gonna be going over pa cross in this video and i'm also going to be talking about um where is it at um slot post so i'm just going to do one setup out of this i like slot post versus man coverage really but we're going to be talking about pa cross versus zones and why you can use this offense now pa cross is in a lot of other gun type formations so if you um if you run gun tight check your playbook see if it's in there um drive corner is in a lot of other playbooks that's gun tight so check your playbooks now i'm not going over drive corner i'm just letting you know um that you know it's in here too as well and also z spy is a really great play um but i'm not touching on it in this particular video because i got a lot i want to talk about so what we're going to do is go and come out in pa cross now defense you're most likely going to see some uh 335 normal you're going to see some 335 cub every now and again when you run gun tight you're mostly going to see dollar though most of the time so we're going to look at dollar now all i did was i subbed out the uh defensive line so i can have a little bit more time to throw um, besides that, I put safeties in at the linebacker positions, which most likely you'll see when you load up online. And we have speed all the way around with the DBs, which is why you guys know that I like using the Packers because they have one of the fastest secondaries in uh, Madden. So, anyways, what we're going to do is come out and cover three, right? So, uh, first and foremost, you really want to establish run. Now, I'm not going to be talking about the run plays any, but please make sure you do establish that. Actually, you know what? Um, I actually want to put in um, read option in here, so just, just so you can see what the read option looks like. Uh, so we'll go back to cover three buzz and then we'll actually go ahead and sub out base because you guys should know what base looks like and we're actually going to um, put in the um that's not read option there we go so we're gonna put in the read option uh and we're gonna come back out and pa cross now um i'm gonna go ahead and uh just pinch my defense and normally you're gonna see a cover three most of the time anyways so we're gonna go to read option and um don't mind that it looks like this is the actual read option and um, just kind of showing you, I mean, now obviously this is Carson Wentz, so I mean, he's not finna just, you know, be skating on nobody. But I really love this read option just because it's it's, it's just a nice run play. Um, you know, you it, it, I can't talk. You have a lot of great blockers too, you know, so you have your tight end and also, you know, it's just it's just a great run. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, there's really nothing else to say. It's just a good run. So really love the read option out of this particular uh, formation. Now, uh, moving forward with what you guys probably care about is going to be this PA cross play. So there's a ton of setups that I like and you're going to get a ton of setups. You're probably going to get about three, honestly, and I'm going to go in deeper dives into them and I'm going to show you uh, another play. Then that's going to wrap it up for this video. So anyways, it's going to get started. So what I like to do first, um, you actually can split cover three depending on where that safety is. So if they don't have their safety directly in the middle, some cover threes do it, some don't. So what I mean by that is if there's a cover three safety in the middle, then I don't look for it. But if the safety is committed to, you know, this side, which a lot of times it can happen that way. Um, one thing I do like to do is take triangle, put him on a streak. And then I like to take my X right here and then put him on a streak right there. And then we're just going to motion this guy and then snap him right there. And a lot of times what's going to happen is he's going to clear past him. And then that corner is going to widen out. And then you actually have a little seam right there. And again, that only works whenever this safety right here is not in the middle of the field. So I'll show you once, just in case you're curious, we'll put them in the middle. Um, so if you see your safety in the middle, we'll cover three. Don't try to run this particular, you know, don't try to hit this re, I should say, you know. So again, I'll show you this real quick. And again, it should not work simply just because of where that safety is. We can't really take advantage of it. Um, it's there, but just be careful. Um, as you can tell, it, it, you have to wait a little bit longer, but it's there but just just if you're on a current gen please don't throw that because that would is a pick 10 out of 10 times on current gen but next gen you have a chance with this and the reason why this works is just simply because this corner out is deep enough to pull this safety over the cornerback away and the safety is going to get held by this streak route right here. so that's why he can't fully commit because he has to guard that streak 
and what happens here is that we have a natural separation in cover three but uh just be very careful you, you're gonna have the possession catch that a thousand percent of the time please do not try to rap catch it or aggressive catch or you may end up throwing a pick okay so just be very 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 careful running that so um i love that right there versus cover three now moving forward uh this setup right here works versus every single zone coverage in the game now, also one thing I do want to mention is um, if you guys ever want any ebooks or you want to take a look at what I have, please make sure you go to my website, allthingsmadden.com. The link to that website is in the description. I have um, about 11 or 12, maybe 13 different ebooks on there already. And if you want me to do a formation that's not on there, then just simply fill out the little form and then I will get that sent to you ASAP. So. Uh, go check it out, allthingsbatten.com. So for the second sub, you want to take triangle, put him on a streak. You want to motion over this guy right here. Now you want to take X, your tight end, go ahead and throw him on a hitch. Now you can either A, snap the ball with this setup right here, or B, you can swing your running back. Now if they're blitzing you, obviously you're going to want to uh, block that running back. But if they're playing like a rush three style defense, then go ahead and swing that running back. So I'm just going to show you right now just with the running back blocked. Now, if it's cover three or cover four drop or anything where they have a hook zone out there, so a hook curl, then you're going to have this hitch route open every single time unless they man it up. That is the only way it does not get open. Now, what you also notice, too, is that um, you're going to have that throw there. And I threw it at that pace because realistically, when you run this setup in game, you're probably not going to have enough time to let Square develop. And you're probably wondering who Square is. And Square is the person that's running this route right here. So you want to wait until he gets out of his break. So notice how, um, well, not out of his break. You want to wait till he clears past that hook zone right here. And then you want to go ahead and throw it over the top because this guy will never be able to make a play on it as long as you lead the ball somewhere out here. And um, you'll be fine. So this hitch route is going to be open every single time. This is a quarterback spy, so don't worry about him. If you want to move a spy, you just simply move this way in the pocket and the spy is going to follow. And you have this throw literally every single time. So you're going to make a double-sided read between these two players right here. And also, this doesn't happen every time where they just kind of do this. That, that doesn't happen every time. Sometimes it's a lot smoother. Sometimes this guy does fall, unfortunately, because it is EA. So, you know, run this at your own risk, I should say. Sadly, I hate saying that, but those are things that are in EA that you just don't have any control over. So um, I want to show you versus Code 4 Drop. So with Code 4 Drop, we're going to do the same exact thing, triangle on a streak. We're going to go ahead and motion over a square, take X, put him on a hitch. And then you can motion snap him too as well. Um, actually, not that way you can't, but most of the time you can. And also... We're gonna have that guy right there. So if you let him set, um, and if you swing the running back, that hook zone won't actually play that hitch. But right here, they actually did. Um, they actually did play it. Which if they play this hitch, that's fine because you're gonna make a one-two read if that makes sense. So normally, if this is your user right here, you're just gonna wait for him to clear, and then you're gonna hit that. Now you're probably thinking, okay, real, well, what if the user's right here? Then this plays bagged, right? So if that happens to happen, um. This is where I love to actually have a playmaker. So what I'm gonna do is take triangle, put him on a streak. We're gonna take X, put him on a hitch. And this is why I love my hitch, hitch routes. If some of you guys watch my videos a lot, you'll see I like to put hitch routes a lot. And it's because you really get a bailout, if that makes sense. Because let's say X will cover, I can actually playmaker him. And then, you know, I can playmaker him to the left. I can playmaker him up the field. I can actually do a lot with that hitch right there. So that's why I love to have my hitches. So this time they actually didn't cover it. Uh, I was actually in cover three, but um, I think Code 4 Drop covers this uh, This hook zone actually does a great job, but regardless, no matter who's right there, you have the ability to playmaker him, so keep that in mind, okay? Now, Cover 2, um, technically you can run the same setup, which I'm going to show you, but there is a better setup that I like versus Cover 2, and you actually can one play touchdown Cover 2, so uh, I'm going to show you the, the first setup right here versus Cover 2, so it's still going to be the same type of type of read progress you just have to wait for square to quick clear and i love it because you're going to get over the top of every single non-zone drop in the game right so let's go back to cover two um so cover two you can actually have a one play touchdown potentially all you need to do is just take triangle um i like to put them on an in route and a smart route it and i like to take circle go ahead and motion them out and i like to swing my um my running back to this side that i motion so I like circle to be motion snap. It's not necessary, but I just personally like it. So we're gonna motion snap them so you can see. Uh, but again, it's not necessary at all. And I just got absolutely just just hollered at right there. But um, I'm gonna replay really quick and just show you exactly why I like this setup. So what's gonna happen here? And again, you could block your running back. You don't definitely don't need to swing them. 
But uh, what happens here is that a lot of times you'll be able to throw this route right here as soon as this cornerback commits you. A lot of times you can get a good pass lead right here and actually get a nice little possession catch. Uh, so that's why I like to swing the running back. And normally what happens here is that the user is going to be stuck in the middle guarding this. And then a lot of times you'll be able to just split these safeties right here. And it might look like a tough throw, but I'm going to show you that you can easily throw this ball um as long as i just don't get absolutely just holler that in the pocket now next thing i like to say is i do like to take square smart routers routes and notice how it's ran a little deeper now and um we're gonna swing the running back and then we're just gonna motion snap him just like that now you don't you don't have to motion snap him but i like to and i, I, I just can't get enough time in the pocket to throw it but um you'll be able to throw this ball i'll go replay really quick because i don't want to spend all day trying to show you this but um it's it's literally simple you just want to um, also you don't have to put them on the in route you can simply just do this if you want to um leave them on his route and just make the user commit quick i just like to put an in route because it makes the user have to think a little bit more but what i want you to notice is watch the safety right here watch him part left and he's going to part kind of right notice how he's drifting right and what happens here is that we're going to be able to throw this ball you know straight up now also versus cover two you you don't have to motion that guy out um so if you're feeling like it's too close of a throw you don't have to motion circle out okay so you can just simply do this right here you can swing them and then um you can snap the ball but if i like to motion one of them out so that way the safety is going to have to move so here i'll motion him out that way and then look at x so notice how x is going to just get wide open so you can have that all day and night versus cover two okay i took all that time just to, <laughs> to let you know that you can have that throw versus cover two all right so um let's see next thing i want to talk about so this is another zone setup that i like so all we're going to do here is we're going to take x put him on a streak we're going to take circle we're going to motion him across this time but we're going to take triangle we're going to throw him on a zig route right and you have two options here either you could swing your running back or you could take him and put him on a um option route so what option does is zone coverage he's going to sit up right where this hook zone is he's going to sit right here if it's zone, if it's man, he's going to run an out route, right? So I really love this setup because we're going to make a one, two read between the user and circle. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. So uh, now you're going to look at circle and we're, I never have enough time. That's crazy. Um, I'm actually going to, this is why I like to spot people because all keep in mind, I'm on all Madden practice mode. So that's why sheds are just going absolutely crazy. So just keep that in mind. I'm on all my practice mode. But anyways, we're going to motion circle across X on the streak, triangle on a zig route. We're going to take R1, put him on an option route. Now, um, it doesn't show up as an option, but please, I promise you he is on an option. But what I want you to look at is circle. Watch how he's going to settle up right there. And I love, I love, love, love to throw that route right there. I can't tell you how many times you're going to alert the user. Um, you're going to irk the user, get on his nerves, because what's going to happen here is that now, I don't mind these three people, okay? Um, this is going to be a user right here on the hook zone. This is your other user on the hook zone. So what happens here is we have a clear read. So we're going to choose between this guy, this guy, and this guy right here. Because you can actually throw this ball to the sideline if you want to. And this zig route is going to pull down any outside zones. And we're going to have a wide open throw to the outside. So we have a three-way read. Because uh, sometimes you can have this. It all depends on who he's using. So if he's, if he's using this guy, a lot of times he's going to take off and run this way. So a lot of times you'll have this right out the gate. And when you throw this enough, a lot of times you'll see what happens here. This will be the user coming down. And then they'll try to come back. Or they may stay. Um, or they may try to take off and run this way. Because they're not going to expect them just to settle up. And you'll just get a nice little dot right here. So you got either a dot here or a dot here. Or you can playmaker this guy if you want to. So... A lot of options man um that's why i like this particular formation because you you're able to have a lot of options so again um i do want to show you real quick that we can throw this square out um because i know i haven't thrown it yet but you need you to know that we can throw it as long as i get time um i got a bad pass lead but you get the idea i got a bad pass lead but you really want to angle that ball to the sideline and of course you guys know i'm gonna show you versus cover four drop which is one of the harder ones to throw it against and we're going to press but I just want you to see that we can technically still throw it. You just need to make sure you get a good pass lead and a good pass animation. R1 on an uh, option. Right, there we go. So uh, you want to make sure you drift that way in the pocket as well. So what you're going to do is throw it kind of down and then try to cut them off. But like I said, cover four drop is the toughest one to throw against. So technically, I personally wouldn't throw against cover four drop. Um, I would actually, if they play cover four drop style defense, I like to make my one two read between here and here. And now, also what's most important here is that if for some reason you, your user takes this away 
and this is guarded what you can do is actually grab this guy you could playmaker him wherever you want to so if we drift to the left in a pocket we can playmaker him if we drift to the right in a pocket we can playmaker him so that's why i said that no matter what your opponent does you're going to be able to have an option out there right so um really love that play now um Next thing I kind of want to talk about is going to be, I feel like I'm forgetting the setup. So I don't remember the setup I want to give you. So we're going to talk about man coverage setup, right? So man coverage, um, there's a better play in here for man coverage. But one play that I, well, one setup that I do like to do is I like to take X, put them on a drag. I like to take circle, put them on a slant. I like to take square, just put them on a fade or a streak just to get him out the way. And what we're going to do here is actually motion snap this guy right here. So we mostly snap them to get good spacing. So we're going to have X, triangle, and then we're going to read circle. So that's going to be your read progressions on this particular play. Now, no, it's not always going to be clear cut, wide open like that. They just happen to run good routes on this particular setup. Well, this particular play. Um, now, I love this Y because a lot of times he's going to be able to get off the ball. Um, now, he could get pressed every now and again, but most of the time they kind of give him a good release most of the time. So, you have a drag route here, and then this route right here is actually extremely good versus man. You want to have one of your best route runners here because you need this route to get open. A lot of times this does happen where they just don't get hands on them. That does happen. Not every time, but it can happen. And, of course, you know, you have that dot here. And the motion slants normally are going to beat man coverage normally. Um, they may not beat it this bad every time, but normally they do win. Um, so you're going to make an easy read between drag, your little uh, other drag, and then the slant, basically. So that's how I love the uh, do it versus man coverage. Now, if we're talking about man coverage, then that's when I like to go to the slot post play. Because as you can tell, we have the same route that was what we had last time. And we're going to take circle right here. I like to just throw him on a drag. And what we're going to do here is actually just take them and motion them out. So I'm actually going to play man coverage. We're going to go ahead and uh, pinch our defense to kind of get a press look. Now, you can put them on a slant if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. I normally like to do drags just for spacing concepts. But I'll show you what a slant looks like. Because uh, it's still going to be okay spacing. But sometimes the user can guard both depending on who they are. But um, slants are normally going to be your best friend when it comes to man coverage. And for that tight end route, you really need to have a really good tight end. So if you don't have a decent tight end, please don't run this because this it's not just gonna it's not gonna be open if you don't have a decent tight end. Now right here he got great separation. And also one thing I want to mention is this play is really good uh, for everything other than two high safety man cover. So notice how we have two high safeties. And the reason why I say that is because this route is ran so deep that he'll run straight into the safety. Um, now, that's why I like to have the streak because what happens a lot of times here is that if they have separation, you can actually pass lead this ball down low and you can actually get a possession catch. So um, hopefully I'm able to show you that here because sometimes uh, in practice mode, they don't they don't they don't always play like you think they should in practice mode, sadly. But um, we'll, we'll go back to slot post. We'll take circle, put them on a slant. We'll hopefully see if we can get the same little great win animation that we got last time. And look at X, man. Um, that's why I was telling you sometimes it's just. It's weird. It's weird with that route. Whenever it's uh, man coverage with a high safety, because uh, it's they, they get different win animations. If that makes sense, like kind of watch what happens this time, right? So notice how he just beat him right out the gate. Uh, but this time the safety is actually in excellent position, only because of how fast they let him beat man coverage. And so notice they just you know they just let him run straight by him. But I mean that does happen, you know. But um, I personally love this play when they're running anything other than too high safety man coverage. Okay, so just. Keep that in mind, it can still work. You just, you know, you're limited on your reads, if that makes sense. Also, what I did want to say too is that uh, a lot of times he's going to get out there, but this route right here can beat man coverage if you have a good matchup. <clears throat> but be careful because sometimes, uh, you know, your user may be lurking over here because they might be trying to guard this route because this route is still good versus man. It's just depending on if EA is going to give you a good animation, like a win animation. But, anyways, man, um, that's going to wrap it up for this video, though. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Ray Jarrell, and I'm out.